Hello and welcome to Tech Support. My name is Monica Chan and today I'll be teaching you how to use the Warp Stabilizer effect on Adobe Premiere Pro. Using the Warp Stabilizer effect can be very helpful to decrease unwanted shake in videos. This is most commonly seen in handheld footage. First, open up Adobe Premiere Pro. The version that I am using is Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Drag and drop all the videos that you would want to use for your project here in this panel. Next, drag and drop the video that you would want to work with into the timeline. This video has some unsteady handheld footage, so I'm going to use the warp stabilizer to smooth out these movements. To look for the warp stabilizer effect, click on the effects tab, video effects, distort, and the warp stabilizer can be found right here. Another method to find this effect is by using the search bar. Click and drag the effect onto the video of your choice. This footage is only a few seconds long. Keep in mind when applying this effect, the longer the footage, the longer it will take for the program to stabilize the footage. The default setting of the result section is set to smooth motion, which keeps the original movement from the camera but smooths it. 50% is the default smoothness level. The larger the smoothness level, the more stable the footage will be. However, this does mean that the footage will be cropped more. A lower smoothness level will look more like the original footage. You can also change this setting to no motion to eliminate all camera motion. In the methods section, there are four settings you can change. Position is the most basic method to stabilize footage since it is based solely on position data. The position, scale, and rotation setting stabilizes footage based on those data. Perspective will affect the frame and stabilize the footage by having the corners pinned. Subspace warp, which is the default, stabilizes the footage by bending different parts of the frame. This setting can sometimes distort the footage undesirably, so it's best to play around with each setting until you find one that stabilizes your footage to your liking. For each setting besides position, if there isn't enough areas to track, Warp Stabilizer will choose to use the previous setting. Changing the framing setting will affect how the edges of the footage will appear when stabilized. Once again, there are four settings in which you can apply. However, I will just talk about the last two. Stabilize Crop Auto Scale is the default setting. This setting has automatic scaling established. Footage is cropped and the level of movement is lower than the original footage. The Stabilize Synthesize Edges setting has the footage cropped and some short stop motion like the effect to stabilize movements on the edges of the frame. Some tips when working with warp stabilizer. The first thing you want to do is choose a stabilization result, smooth motion or no motion. If the applied setting is the result that you want for your footage, then you're done stabilizing. If not, applying the settings from the method and framing section will help if the footage is too distorted. You can affect how much your video is cropped by changing the smoothness level. This is Monica Chan. Thanks for watching Tech Support. Good luck with your video.